2016 here at Bad Friday Festival. Woo! For the AU Review. Monday. I'm Cordia. Mm. Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. Well, I'm into that. I want to learn that one. Well, if you don't know the right cheers technique, then seven years bad sex. Oh, shit. That seven sucks. Yeah, you got seven, seven years to go. <laughs> it's a bad cycle. We're going to play Tate's. Eight. Are we ready? It's quick fire questions. Um, I'm gonna just like pew this around, and uh, oh, we'll yeah. we'll do an alternate. Okay. Pew pew. Pew pew. 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 Yeah. Pew. Let's do it. Okay. Ready. Question number one. What was the first CD or music that you ever bought? I think it was Weedus Teenage Dirtbag, on a like on a single. Might have been the Offspring album though, actually, because I think Mum bought us bought me the Offspring album, or if we've gone early, early back. Could be Elvis' greatest hits. That was probably the first proper music. And then there's Wiggles before that. That's a solid answer. Okay, what unknown artist should we know about? Papoos. Papoos, Animal Sedance, or Liss. P A P O O Z. Papoos, amazing. The French, they're gorgeous. Or um, Swedish band, or Dan Danish band, um, Liss. L I W -S, S. Do you have an aesthetic icon? Is there someone who's like, damn, that style, let me emulate? Fuck, man. Um, I don't know. I pretty much just look up to Louis and put on a, I put on a shirt and then he just goes, mm, nah. Looks better on me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one, that's the one. The man. What has been the most memorable concert that you've ever seen? Um, probably Michael Kiwanaku at Blues Fest. I cried heavily during the set. That's always a good tell. What is on your guilty pleasure playlist? Love on Top's a good one. I feel like there's going to be an older one than that. Sorry, not sorry, yeah. Demi Lovato. Man, you haven't heard of that. How, can you give us a sing? Maybe I might know it. Sorry, not sorry. I don't listen to lyrics. Baby, yeah, I got this. Okay, sorry. I'm not sorry. God damn it, get her. Get her on your, your the squeeze. Okay, anyway, what is your pre-show ritual? Um, we have a little whiskey and we have a little little guilty pleasure song. We do we do vocal warm-ups. <laughs> really. Riding out. Writing our set list. Our set list has become like a menu for people. I don't know what this thing is is about, but people have started eating our set lists. So we do our vocal warm-ups, we write out our set list, and we like to sometimes try and make it look like a menu for those people that grab it and then eat it. It might seem very confusing, but I don't. it's, it's confusing for us as well. Delicious. I want to try this. All right. Have a nibble of the cardboard. We're not wasting trees. We're, we're, we're consuming. All right, this is a Tate question. What style of potatoes would you be if you could be a style of potatoes and why? Um, hash browns. And why? It's what everyone wants when they walk into a room. If you walk into an, a, a breakfast scenario, there's a whole bunch of things laid out. Anything you can have, you look under that silver tray for that golden goodness. And if it's there, it's like the best feeling ever. If it's just a bunch of little, those little sausages, what the fuck are those? Seriously. Cheerio things. Those eggs, and they're not even eggs. It's like eggs made in bulk, and they're just like fucking poached, caged eggs. Like, you open that up, and you smell, you smell the fart smell of the egg, poached egg. That's the worst. But if it's hash browns, it's like, it's in. You look around to see if anyone else discovered, and you go in. And you don't get you don't get two or three. No one gets two or three. It's ten, and that's why they're gone. So and you go, mate. Are there any more hash browns left? No. Sorry. There's no. As soon as they're back out, in and out. <laughs> this has been the most intense answer to that question I have ever had. And final question. Let's get serious. What can people do to keep the music scene alive in Australia? Go to shows. Go to shows every night. Complain to the fucking government. Melbourne's great, Adelaide's great, you go, we go to these cities all the time and they're so sick. 
the best vibe ever when you go to outside of Sydney. Death to the Sydney vibe at the moment. It's horrible. Go to shows and complain. And one last question, just because I'm super curious. Why Lime Cordial? Why not raspberry? Why not lemon? Where did we get the name from? Is it a childhood memory as brothers? It's Oliver and Louis Lime back. Oh my Love God, name. it's just so smart and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's spelled a little bit differently, but if you kind of mishmash those, those letters around. It's an anagram sort of thing. <laughs> Damn. It's not an anagram, but it's, an anagram. it's, it's close to it. Well, I've, yeah. I've been learnt me a thing or two. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.